We finally see Claire and Jamie doing what they do best, but it turns weird when all of a sudden Claire's face morphs into Black Jack Randall. And then of course Jamie gets out a knife and starts slashing and it's a bloody mess. At this point, I'm not sure if it's a hallucination or a nightmare, but thankfully it's just a nightmare. But it does kind of show us all the problems in the bedroom stemming from Jamie's post-traumatic stress disorder. Kind of a weird scene after watching People vs. O.J. Simpson. Thank goodness Claire is a healer because she is able to go to the apothecary and get some medication for Jamie and she even makes a friend. Murtaugh decides to help Jamie beef back up on his sword fighting skills, but in general, Murtaugh is not assimilating to France very well. Well, that is until he gets to go to a brothel for a whole evening. That he says just fine with. They are hanging out with the kings looking at dildos. Yeah, for real. Politics in a brothel. It's like politics hasn't changed much over the years. Basically, though, Jamie and Murtaugh can't stand this guy, but they have to make nice, so they do. Claire has made a friend, Louise de Rohan, and sees her getting waxed. And then a young girl that's staying with her, Mary Hawkins, comes in, and it's very awkward. She is terrified, but Claire helps to put her at ease since they are both British. Use a fellow Englishwoman, Lady Brochtwarak, Claire Fraser. Shoot, if I lived with this lady, I'd be scared too, because as she's standing there with Claire, Louise opens up her robe and gets a bikini wax right in front of them. The two stand there transfixed, like they're watching a train wreck. Nobody wants to see that. I certainly wouldn't. But while Claire probably didn't want to see it, she does want to get waxed too. And Jamie is intrigued, but misses her lovely forest. Hey, here's a hint, Jamie. Don't say that phrase again. The two get an invite to Versailles to meet the king, and Claire has a gown made that Jamie is not a huge fan of others seeing. Thankfully, she has a fan to cover up. That? You're going to meet a larger fan. Why would she be worried about this dress? She just saw a lady get her hoo-ha waxed. The palace is super weird. Jamie and Murtaugh go to watch the king try to use the toilet, but the king can't go. Constipated, so Jamie gives him an idea, tells him to try porridge. I'm kind of wondering why he didn't suggest coffee, too. And while the king's bowel movements are an issue, they're not the real problem that happens at the party. That's when the Duke of Sandringham comes and lets them know that <laughs> Black Jack Randall is still alive. And by them, I only mean Claire. And so now Jamie doesn't know, and they left us on that cliffhanger. Come on, now I have to be worried about Jamie all week. 